Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be filming today a get ready with me for my passport picture. I usually wear this on an everyday basis. If you have me on Snapchat or Instagram, you'll see that I usually have this makeup look on all my pictures. So this is kind of like a everyday makeup passport picture. I'll also be inserting, if I can, some pictures of my passport here. If not, then you guys just won't be able to see them. But yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this look, continue watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be part of the family. This isn't really going to be like a tutorial or anything. It's more like a get ready with me, you know. Um, I'm just going to be taking my passport picture like I had said. So I'm going to try to do this quick. My appointment is like at 12.45, somewhere around there, almost 1.00. And right now it's 10.47, so I'll have like an hour and a half to get ready. It's a little bit far from my house, so, you know, I don't really got time to go in depth with this tutorial or whatever you want to call it. But if you see me looking over here, it's because I have a viewfinder right here. I don't really like the shadows in the back. I'm trying to get better lighting, but it's not really working out. I try to film videos for you guys, and, you know, it just hasn't been working out. When I do try and film videos... I either get the wrong lens for my camera because I've been trying to, to film um, what's on my iPhone X. I tried to film that last night. Didn't work out. I got the wrong lens so I had to go this morning and change it out just so I could be able to film this particular video for you guys. I recently got my eyebrows done and the freaking lady, I had grown them out, they were really thick and the freaking lady made them super thin, I was pissed. This video is going to be long. I'm just going to try and cut to the chase. Try to fast forward it. So I'm going to stop talking a little bit. And we're just going to get to it. But I'm just going in with Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Beverly Hills palette. And just applying that as um, a transition shade on my eyeshadow. And I ran out of it on my palette so I got the individual one. I'm gonna go in with a Jacqueline Hill palette. I'm only gonna be using two shades. I'm gonna apply my lashes and stuff off camera and apply my primer so I'll be back. Now that I applied my eyelashes and the primer, if you guys are wondering what primer I use, it's this one, Baby Skin. It's very affordable and I feel like it just does the job. I'm also using, um, what are they? 
Batty B Lashes in Style Batty. I'm going to be going in with this um, foundation. It's the Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. If you guys want a review on it, let me know and I'll be more than gladly to do so. I recently got it. like um the concealer to sit there for a little bit i feel like it makes this a little bit better when it's like a little bit dry i don't like to um blend it as soon as it's right on so i wait a little bit and let me see i have some like mascara I'm going to be using this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder to set my under eye. And then what I like to do is I like to take a damp beauty blender. This is a clean damp beauty blender. And I like to go on top because I feel like it takes off all the powder and it doesn't make it cakey. So I do that. I go on top of it, of both sides, with my wet powder one. Just so I could take off a bottle of that powder, because sometimes, you know how you just get too much and you're like cakey and powdery and dry all of a sudden? You don't want that. So then I'm just going to go in with my Fit Me one, and I like to set it with that set my whole face the places where I did not put that setting powder at I will put this at
So my camera had died, so I want to go straighten my hair and stuff. Now I'm just going to be applying my lipstick. This is just so my lips could get a little bit plumped. It's called the Juicy Lips. After that, I'm just going to be applying my Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick. In, I mixed two of them. It's Kiss and Spice. I just like that, how it looks neutral. And I just like to mix them up together. So that's it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be part of the family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.